Uh, this is going to be a real quick, short video. Um, I see that uh, Mike Zero has been on uh, Tumblr looking for the stuff for his channel and calling it news. No, Ray doesn't have a kid. No, there is no Ray Low. There will probably be a huge battle between her and her brother, but none of that. Anything else is happening. Why? JJ hates it, and his consultant, we all know who that is, really hates it. It's not Star Wars. It is fan fiction. Shitty fan fiction. Okay? So y'all can stop. Okay. Right now, Mike. Just fucking quit it. Uh, I'm serious. It's getting old. I know you make a lot of money doing this. Uh, I could care less. All right? Really. So anyway, um, let's go to the next thing. Chuck Wendig, <laughs> apparently, <clears throat> can't shut up. I got a screenshot of his latest tweet, and uh, he honestly thinks he's a, he is truly a creative genius. I just did a video uh, for Entertainment Hacker. I don't know when it's going to be up. Um, kind of about this subject. And then I really try to be brief, but I might end up being long. Bear with me. The fact of the matter is, you guys, while you, you, me, and all the normal people, or as Kurt Schlichter likes to call us, militant normals, we're going to school, getting jobs, getting married, having kids, living our lives. These deranged activists were getting into the culture, getting into academia, getting into the media, getting into government. And I don't mean working for congressmen. I mean working for, uh, on the executive side, not for the president, but for agencies, uh, the federal bureaucracy. Chuck Wendig and his ilk are some of those people. Let me explain. These people don't get into the arts and the sciences because they feel the need to create. When you cut it down, when you, when you narrow it down to its, its finest, most pure essence, they get in to filmmaking, to music, to novel writing, to comic book writing, to the media, because they're activists and they have a message. Uh, anybody who's read after his aftermath books um, realize that uh, he didn't write a Star Wars book necessarily. He wrote a book full of social justice crap, uh, just like Claudia Gray did, uh, just like uh, you know Ryan Johnson when he wrote TLJ. And I'm going to say this: they're not liberal. Liberal artists do art for art's sake. George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill, um, Carrie Fisher, um, Tom Hanks, Tommy Lee Jones, on and on and on and on. Uh, I could say that, you know, Robert Duvall, who's a registered Republican uh, in the state of Virginia, is a liberal. Why? Here's the deal. Liberal people, liberal-minded people, have open minds. They can assess and critically think about an issue and come up with their own opinions. Okay? Uh, conservative, true conservatives, and trust me, I've met a lot of them, have a very hard time doing that themselves. True progressives cannot do that. And we are seeing through Chuck Wendig's uh, emotional meltdown since he got fired, true liberals, or no, true, true progressives cannot handle uh, sifting through a problem and thinking critically either. They have a set standard by which they judge things, and Chuck Wendig is one of them. He's, he's an ideologue. Uh, true artists are idealists. 
Uh, da Vinci was an idealist. Uh, Michelangelo, Michelangelo uh, uh, Johannes van Meer, van Meer. Uh, you know, Gustav Klimt is one of my favorite. And of course, the amazing uh, Vincent van Gogh. You know, you name the novelists, uh, Ernest Hemingway. Uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald, um, Henry Fielding, Daniel Defoe, Mary Shelley, la la la, blah blah blah. Um, you know, David Bowie, um, John Lennon, uh, you know, and sure, you know, you'd hear some leftist stuff, but when you looked at their art, uh, at least, at least David Bowie, not so much Lennon, but Lennon, but Bowie used his music to create art, okay? He was an artist, and an artist is obsessed with creating things that are beautiful, that are timeless, that stand the test, okay? Uh, you, Chuck Wendig, Claudia Gray, uh, Daniel Jose Older, um, Jason Fry, all these people, uh, their writing will eventually go away and be decanonized. Uh, why? Because it's not Star Wars, it's not timeless. Uh, you cannot put current and relevant things to now in Star Wars in such a ham-fisted way and A, get people to want to read it and B, get people to, to feel like it's part of what they, they understand the genre of, well, not the genre, the franchise to be about. And we all know what it's about, okay? Basically, you cannot remove the glorious creativity that George Lucas put into Star Wars and replace it with social justice and PC uh, progressive activism. You can't turn it into propaganda, okay? It doesn't work that way, guys. It never has, it never will. And that ultimately is the problem that uh, I think the Star Wars franchise has. Uh, ultimately, uh, we will probably see a lot of this stuff get decanonized because it just doesn't work. It doesn't work in George Lucas's vision. Uh, when you realize that these people got these jobs not because they're good writers. I mean, Chuck Wendig is, I, I, like I said, his use of tense is nauseating. Um, you know, these people aren't gonna really have much to go on uh, uh, beyond their, their ideology. And they didn't get into the to writing, script writing, comic book writing, because they felt the need to be creative. Did it because they had a, a message and wanted to use those platforms to get out their political message. And it doesn't work. Okay, uh, you know, go back and look at the propaganda of Nazi Germany, and I've studied that. Uh, I've studied that culture very closely when I was in college. Um, I did do a semester uh, abroad in Berlin. Uh, when you look at uh, the artwork of totalitarian regimes, uh, Nazi Germany, fascist Italy, Stal uh, Russia, Bolshevik Russia, Stalinist Russia, Maoist China, it is soulless. Okay, there's a soullessness to it. And I have it on good authority that George Lucas had told his inner circle that TLJ, if not the entire D Disney uh, canon, besides Rogue One, is soulless. Uh, I would offer that so Solo, a Star Wars story, is soulless. Okay? Um, now think about it. Why would they say it was, why would he say it was soulless? Literally everything that he put in there that made it Star Wars, the adventure, the mythology, um, the familial ties, the echoes back to things that we 
All share as human beings are gone for a bunch of social engineering crap. And it's wrong. And it doesn't work. And I'll tell you something. Chuck Wendig might have lost his you-know-what on uh, Twitter the other day and got himself canned. But that's not probably the real reason why he got fired. Uh, he helped himself to the door. But I think he and a couple other people were already well on their way. And he just got there faster because he can't keep his mouth shut. And he still can't keep his mouth shut. I want to say this. Chuck, you have more in common with the people that Joseph Goebbels hired and the people that the propaganda minister of Stalinist Russia hired to do artwork than you have with the great uh, sci-fi novelists and fantasy novelists of the day. Tolkien, C.S. Lewis, Orson Scott Card, those guys, okay? You're not them. You're not a Richard Adams, okay? You are a propagandist. And even at that, your use of tense, your grammar is terrible, okay? Same thing with Claudia Gray. She's the one that gave us uh, Vice Admiral Gender Studies. Uh, thank you very much, you cow. Um, you know, she, uh, you know, Ryan Johnson, you have more in common with uh, Lena Riefenstahl, with the filmmakers of Soviet Russia, with the filmmakers of Maoist China, than you do with the great filmmakers in, in the United States and in Britain. David Lean, uh, Terrence Malick, uh, George Lucas, you definitely have no, nothing in common with him. Spielberg, uh, you know, Ridley Scott, uh, you know, who basically bad, bad mouth the hell out of you in the Hollywood, in Variety, or, yeah, Variety, yeah, last December. Uh, he, you know, you're not an artist. You make pretty things, as George Lucas said, publicly, but it's not a Star Wars, all right? It's just propaganda. That's it, okay? You, you have a message. My advice is to go to the DNC or the Green Party and ask them if you can do videos and movies for them, okay? Because that's your audience. The general audience doesn't care, doesn't want to hear your message. They want to go to a Star Wars movie, a timeless movie that speaks to the heart of humanity, not relevant garbage that people want to get away from. Okay? So, to Chuck Wendig, Ryan Johnson, ultimately Kathleen Kennedy, and her main, and her flying monkey captain, Carrie Hart, you guys are not artists, you're not creative, you have absolutely no idea how to make something beautiful. Everything you've done, except for Rogue One, has been soulless garbage. Soulless garbage, okay? Even TFA, because you wouldn't give poor J.J. Abrams enough time to actually make a decent movie. You gave him six months to write the script. You fired Michael Arndt because he wanted two years. That's bullshit. And that speaks to the heart of who you are. Star Wars isn't just a movie for you to use any way you see fit. It belongs to the culture. It belongs to us, the fans. You are the caretakers, and you screwed up. We didn't want your activism. We wanted Star Wars. Okay? So Chuck, stop it. Learn how to write. You are at fault for what you did. All right? You are at fault for ultimately being an untalented hack. And now I'm speculating that your, your ouster was coming sooner, it was going to come later, and you just helped him a lot. So... On behalf of fans everywhere, thank you. This is Steph signing out. See you around the galaxy.